Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in for your weekly message with me. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, the information is listed in the description of this video along with so much more other information. Um, how to contact me, how to book a personal reading with me. For those who are new, I am a psychic medium. Um, you can look into the about me section or even in the description of this video um, and read up on what I can do, my abilities, things like that. Um, do know in personal readings as well as in live readings, live Q&As that I do. Um, I don't use any cards or any tools as shown live. Um, yeah, I don't use any cards or any tools. It's not needed with me. Um, but as far as y'all weekly messages, I am using the cards because it's general and it's not just you and I, it's not personal. So it's way more like it's too much energy and it's draining. So one day I'll bring that back and just, you know, spoil y'all with that. Uh, I have done that in the past where I've read for each zodiac sign just with my psychic abilities. Um, but as of right now, no. <laughs> to Jamie but uh let's go ahead and get into this um yeah anything you need to know look into the about me section I mean the description also I will be uh providing a special song so um if you're not following me on Instagram or Facebook mainly Instagram but um if you're not following me there you may want to uh, I suggest actually to follow both places but um, and check my stories because it, most updates or specials and things like that, I will provide that in the stories. If you catch it, great. If you don't, then hey. Alright, but that's all. Let's get into these messages. Starting with Aries. <clears throat> Aries. Aries spirit, please show us a message for Aries. Aries. Hold on, Aries. Okay, Aries. Let's see. Let's get into these messages. Spirit, please show us a message for Aries. 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 Show us a message for Aries. Six of Swords. Show us more for Aries. Whoa. Really? All right. I'm going to put my glasses on too. Because I need to see. All right. What else? Show us more for Aries. I feel like it's a ch someone need to make a change here. We have the Six of Swords, the Devil, and the Judgment. Someone is under judgment due to their maybe toxic behaviors. This could be gambling. This could be drinking. This could be partying. This could be like too much. Anything too much is is a problem. That it, confirmation. <laughs> um, so they're telling you to move, move forward, move on from something because maybe you're hit. It looked like you could have been heading, head. Ugh. You could have been heading straight into destruction because you see the devil here. We have one way. There's a one way, but the car is actually going forward. He's looking backwards, not paying attention. He got money in his hand. He got a bottle to drink there. He got a cigarette in his hand or whatever he's smoking. He got his hand on the steering wheel driving forward, but not looking forward. And it says one way, so he's driving down the wrong way anyway. It's people in the street. Like, this person could hit people. It's just a lot going on in this message here. 
So it looked like someone is headed straight into destruction um, due to like a group of people, certain people are just hanging out, mingling with the wrong crowd. And then you see this angel that's calling upon someone. Like he have wings and he's calling like, come this way. She's looking backwards, like kind of tempted, tempted to have another drink, tempted to or lusting. You see how he's lusting after her. And but what he have in his hand, a drink. So all this is just temptation here. And she's looking, but she's walking forward, but her head is turning backwards. Like, am I really ready to take this leap towards, you know, the right path? So they're telling someone, the Six of Swords, it's time for you to move forward. Possibly, you know, read something in the past, whatever this is, so you could go towards peace and calmer waters. You see, the sun is ahead of them. That brings, you know, happiness. That brings clarity upon your life. Maybe you are confused on which, what direction to go, where to go, how to go. Um, and that definitely could be because you are just dealing with the wrong people, the toxic crowds, um, things like that. So someone is guided towards peace, okay? This could be due to a family dynamic, maybe a family of your own. Um, or just surrounding yourself with people uh, that is not in this type of environment. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe you're struggling with letting something go. Maybe it's drinking. Maybe it's smoking. Maybe it's the party life. Maybe it's money it, Money over everything. And that shouldn't be the case. Um, mm -mm. So the world is at the bottom of the deck. Something needs to end, okay? A cycle is closing for a new cycle to begin. And this new cycle could bring in a child with a page of cups. So this could be like a child coming to you. This could be your child. Um, maybe you already have a child. Um, there's actually two children. So some of you, you could have two children. Um, I definitely see a girl, but I can't tell if this is a boy or a girl. It could be a boy. But, so the girl could be older and the, the son could be younger or it could be vice versa, however this is for you. But, um, and they don't have to be, you know, young like this, but for some, they could be, you know. You could have a child that's around the age of, what, she look about six, seven, possibly. Um, and this child, I don't even know, toddler, baby. Um yeah there's there's an ending for new beginnings here this page of cups regardless of children this could be like um a cycle is closing out for a fresh new start okay all right aries what else what else spirit let's see can you show us one more on the six of swords six of swords for some of you, you're going to find new talents. You're going to realize, like, dang, I'm really good at this. And maybe it's something that you thought of doing in the past, but you never really got around to it. But due to this change, these changes that you're making, or this is just bound to happen for you, whether you like it or don't, you know. But you will eventually like it because that sun is bright and shining bright for you. So um, it do look like you're going to come, come across, like, new talents or just... Uh, putting more time and effort to other talents, like not just favoring one. Show us more on the Six of Swords for Aries. Someone do need to calm down with the drinking. Six of Swords, yes. Moving on from the betrayal. It could have been betrayal that you, you had to let go of, remove yourself from. Yeah, someone betrayed the heck out of you. Or several people. Mm -hmm. But let's get more on the devil. This person could have been toxic. They could have been money hungry. This person could have been, um, yeah, and it could have had you in a fast life, the fast lane. And that could have been bringing destruction towards you or maybe this is your past life, you know, and now you're seeing this. You, you, you stepped up. Now you're seeing like, dang, you know, I was really headed into destruction dealing with that person or dealing with those people or, you know. But for some of you, you're in a transition now where it's time to um, turn over a new leaf. Show us more on the devil. For Aries, the devil. Show us more on the devil. 
Yeah, clarify with the Queen of Cups. Some of you, this could have been lusting after love or not love. You could have been lusting <laughs> after women or lusting after men or lusting. Um, yeah, take it however it resonates. Show us more on this judgment. We're going to get more on that, though. Show us more on judgment. Judgment. Some of you may may fear being judged, but don't be. You know, we all have a past. Whether your past is an hour ago or your past is six days ago or your past is six months or six years ago, it doesn't matter. The past is the past. So um, whoever is judging or if whoever you're worried about being uh, ju whoever you're worried about judging you, just know that they have a past too and they can lie if they want. Show us more on the will. So something is destined for you to change. I feel like you're you're being forced upon to change, to make some changes in your life. That's what this will of fortune and a judgment is for. So you can step into a brand new light. So things can continue to progress for you. Instead of stagnate or have ups and downs. It's meant for this to change. For some of you, it's destined for you to come into a love connection, possibly with a water sign. Someone could have Sagittarius placements or Scorpio placements. Um, yeah, I feel like you're leaving a chaotic or you could be dealing with a cancer or someone could have cancer placements. But you're leaving a chaotic environment. Someone who could have um, betrayed you like way too many times. And maybe you're just not realizing this because you are, it's like you are suppressed. You didn't, you or you didn't, um, it's like you were blinded. You know, that's what that devil energy do when you're, um, or, the, you know, when you're, you're uh, focused on all the wrong things, okay? If you're focused on just drinking and smoking and partying or just having a good time, you're going to be blinded from all the betrayal that someone is doing to you or have been doing to you. So it's hard for you to see that. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it could be this, uh, someone could be a... Uh, a cancer or a water sign feminine that could be toxic and they may have drinking addictions and smoking addictions or um it's all about the money it's like it's a it's they just gamble their life away take too many risks for a lot of you this could be you show us more on the ten of swords ten of swords clarify this ten of swords for aries ten of swords ten of swords is clarified with the tower so that <laughs> that rude awakening had to come in for you for you to see this betrayal for you to see the ten of swords wow so you woke up to it you woke up to it and you had to release yourself six of, six of swords show us more on the queen of cups queen of cups queen of cups clarify with the nine of pentacles someone has released themselves from this toxicity or someone is releasing themselves from you because they realize that you are toxic or that you are in a toxic environment or dealing with toxic people or toxic energies or just you got a lot of things that you need to let go of. So this person could be removing themselves from you. Now for some of you, this is you removing yourself from this energy. It's a double energy. Show us more on the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified with the Justice and the King of Wands. I love it. I love how this judgment and the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice, and the King of Wands is here. Clarifying each other. This is beautiful. I feel like your, your new day is coming. It's like you're stepping into a brand new day. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new dawn. Yes, your world is changing. It's destined for you to receive justice from whatever wrong that was done to you. And that's just what it is. Okay? Some of you could be going into a new love situation with the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups. Maybe you weren't able to see this or recognize this because you were so blinded from this betrayal that someone that you are connected with. Someone could have been causing way too much betrayal where you could not see. What is this betrayal so much about? Like, I'm, I'm definitely getting, like, 
money for sure. Someone could have been betraying you financially. Someone is, I'm not even going to say that word. I don't even want to bring it up because I don't want that to even come out. I'm tired of it. All right. Show us more on this energy for Aries. Aries. So maybe you kept telling yourself, no, now is not the right time. Now is not the right time. They're saying, yes, it is. Because no is in reverse. It's not the right time. It is the right time. So maybe you could have been saying, like, something is not the right time. But they're saying, yes, it is. Stop saying, no, it's not the right time. Because you're going to push your blessing away. Ooh. It could be a pregnancy someone is expecting. Show us more for Aries. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. All right. So you either this person will be back to you. You could be pregnant or this person is pregnant and you'll be back to them. For some of you, it's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay. Let's close this out. So some of you, that your new beginning involves, I feel like also with the pregnancy, for some of you, if it's not a pregnancy, this could be like you birth in a new idea, you birth, you're, you're stepping into a new beginning. It's all new beginnings coming out in this reading after you release this betrayal. Someone also could have been manipulating you in so many different ways because I'm really picking up like spell work being done on you, which is crazy because people mm, anyways show us a message for Aries or it could have been an Aries doing this Aries show us a message for Aries spirit Aries not today not dealing hurt avoiding the conversation call person boundaries still angry so you could be angry at this person that have hurt you you know they could have whatever this betrayal is show us more we have sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out so this person um whoever this person is that betrayed you uh they um they're stalking you okay and this is not just like oh just social media this is like i'm getting like heavy stalking you so if they're not like able to like ride past your home type thing they have access to something your phone your social media your emails i don't know but it's some something but they're lurking big time they're sore in the roles clarity true revelation um force honor protection power you know what you're just gaining a lot of clarity here about this situation. You have happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So some of you, you will be coming into to a connection here. It look like you have I like you. Someone's like, blah, someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. So either you want to date this person, they want to date you. We have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Dang, then you have love, unconditional love, self-love, one is passion, affection, and attraction. But you got someone that's spying. Here we go, the spy again with the camera, all right, and stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. Someone is wanting to hurt you because you, I guess you, you release yourself from this um, betrayal that they were causing on you. So you flee from a situation, Six of Swords, that's the energy, Peace of Common Waters. But now there's a whole new beginning coming in for you. So whether you le you left, like physically move type thing, or you just left someone behind, you're not talking to them anymore, you don't want to deal with them, you shut them out your life, however that is. Okay? But... Um, it really looks good. It looks like a, a major change, a major shift is coming in for you. Just go with the flow, okay? Go with the flow and try not to be tempted to things that you know can harm you on this new change that's coming in for you, you know? So you can stay afloat. And so no one can take advantage of you, you know? When you're intoxicated, it's easier for, for that to happen, 
and you want to stay above water so you can always be on on your t on, on ten toes okay but yeah that is that aries i hope you enjoyed or received some clarity from this message please take whatever resonates leave whatever don't and until next time aries i forgot to give you another message with this other deck so bear with me <laughs> aries spirit please show us a message for aries 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 what is it that you want aries to know with this deck spirit please show us a message for aries 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 someone could have been trying to control you yeah i feel like see i i, I would blah <laughs> i was trying to hold back from saying um a narcissist but that's the energy that's coming out you guys so someone is very narcissistic take it however it resonates mm -hmm. all right so we have let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally so you know, I was getting like go with the flow for you and your message as well with the situation, however that is for you. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and express your love. Go ahead and make romantic gest yeah, romantic gestures. Okay. And you deserve love, new love. Wow. Love at first sight. Ugh. I cannot talk. <laughs> love at first sight. Okay. Some of you could be, uh, it could be an age gap or maybe different backgrounds of some sort. Maybe due to religion. Um, some of you may need to work on healing a family situation. Family dyna dynamic. This could be with close relatives, uh, rather siblings or um or your parents okay or something like that all right but yeah some of you going straight into new love all right moving on to taurus thank you so much aries spare please show us a message for taurus <clears throat> taurus Taurus spirit. Let me see. Dang. Okay. We'll take it. All right. What do we have here? The Ace of Swords, Nine of, Nine of Pentacles, and a King of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, a Virgo, Libra. Follow your intuition at this time they're wanting you to. I feel like someone is walking blindly, and they're telling someone to follow their intuition. Just follow that gut feeling so you won't walk blindly. So you can know, you know, what step to take, what direction, what, what you know, which direction to go. For some of you, this could be involving, like, some type of... Uh, surgery maybe you need to have surgery on your on something for some of you your pet may need to have surgery your dog um or this could be you uh but for some of you this could be someone close to you you know someone in your in your energy okay could be an air sign possibly but uh i feel like you for most of you you could be if there is, like, a surgery coming up for you, I feel like your health is okay. Like, your health is not in bad standing at all. Like, I'm, I'm getting, like, your health is pretty good. You're eating healthier or you have your times, but you're still in good health. For some of you, you, you may need to add more fruits to your diet, though. Um, I feel like a good book would be good for you at this time. I feel like... Um, a good book and good food, but something healthy but good to you. Not, you know, don't just binge on junk food, but like something you can snack on while you're reading a good old book. Uh, for some of you, you could be, someone could be autistic. Um, 
or there's an energy surrounding you that could be. Um, maybe this is a child. Or you could be finding this out. And you may need to read up on some things to gain more information on how to go about this. Um, maybe this is super new to you. You know, maybe you just found out. I mean, but some of you, maybe you, you have known. And you have to teach this child differently from others. Or um, maybe this is your first child. But I'm also seeing like a race. Someone could be uh, running in a race. Um, or... So maybe someone is a runner. Maybe someone someone is athletic. Um, maybe some of you may need to get surgery on a bone on your body uh, due to being athletic. Something could have you could have injured yourself. Um, just be careful if if that haven't happened. Be careful on on that. You know, just make sure you uh, not doing anything too dangerous. Okay. But, you know, you could just be running and then it's one of them days something go wrong. But um, I feel like a trip or though, I mean, a trip or something like you trip over something. So be careful. Um, it do look like you're racing to a finish line and you could be winning this race, whatever that means for you. OK, um, but it looked like you're you're uh, overcoming something you're you're stepping into a victory you're overcoming some type of obstacle uh <clears throat> once upon a time it could have been a, the blind leading the blind um but i feel like you could be waking up now because you're releasing this energy or releasing you know you releasing this energy based on a being someone else or you're just releasing that energy and like starting to see things more clearly because you're your eyes is more open. I don't know. But let's get more on this energy spirit. <clears throat> Someone may need to just get their bones, something checked, like their back, their knee, or something. Some type of bone in your body, you need to get a check. You've been having complications with it, get it checked. <clears throat> Whoever that is for. Someone may end up finding out that you need surgery. Also, do your research on it before you just go and get it done. You know, the doctor say, oh, yeah, you need to have such and such surgery. I'm getting, don't just run with it. I'm getting to, you know, do your research. You always want to do that, though. But I'm really getting this out of your message right now. Do your research on it because you may find other things. And you can also explain this to the doctor. Because sometimes the doctors, you know, they just... That's their job. Okay, surgery it is. But if it's something else that you can find that can help out the situation and you give this information to the doctor, then they, they'll they help you out, you know, whatever you're trying to do. It's just like, you know, closed mouths don't get fed type thing. If you don't speak on it, they just going to do it their way, however they want to do it. Okay? Um, let's get a message on this piece of swords. Or Taurus, Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords. So you're getting, so you, you, mm -hmm. so you could be getting answers on why something got locked. Like maybe your your joints locked up or something, or your knee stopped working, or I don't know something. But you're gonna receive clarity on why. You go to once you go to the doctor, they gonna look into it and they gonna see like okay, this is this and this is that, whatever. Um, for some of you, you could be finding out that someone is going to jail or have been in jail. Show us more on the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles for Taurus. Taurus is clarified with the King of Cups. So, hmm, I feel like you chose self love over maybe a connection you or even if you are in a connection or relationship jeez <laughs> can i talk um you may have chose self-love you may have chose to pour more into you at this time even though you and that's totally fine you should do that you know you gotta always stay stay together with self okay if you don't have you together how are you gonna give to the other person so 
yeah, maybe this is what you're needing to do if you are in a connection. For those who are not, it looks like you're finding yourself love, your your self worth. That's good. Show us more on the King of Wands. King of Wands. Page of Wands. For some of you, you could be receiving a message from a fire sign, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get one, one more on the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, Six of Cups. That they want to return. They're coming back. Um, they headed back to you or something. They're in love with you. They want to, baby, baby, give me one more chance. <laughs> For some of you, this is um, a child. Uh, some of you, you could have a child fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini child. But someone could be run coming back or just returning, okay? They could be messaging you like, hey, okay, I'm on my way. Or this is you messaging your child like, hey, I'm, I'm headed back. I'm on my way, something like that. Something been at a standstill for some time between you and a fire sign. Why fire keep coming up in your reading? I want to say it came up in your reading last week. <clears throat> some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or you have fire placements or you have a Pisces placement. Um, yeah, I just feel like you... Um, Some of you need to get your eyes checked, too. Like, your vision have decreased some or something. Or this is your child or some Someone needs to make sure they get their vision checked. Show us a message for Taurus. Taurus. Dang. What is up with this dang on... Eight of Swords energy, like someone, is, someone is feeling stuck because some type of phys, some some type of physical, like maybe some type of um injury. I mean, show us more. We have realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light, with negotiator, bargaining, begging. So someone could have, if someone tried to hurt you in the past, it's like this is what's happening to them, and they're realizing their karma. Someone also could be, could feel stuck due to some truth that they're finding out. Someone is finding out some information and they're like, what? Yeah, that's that realization. Like someone could have been stuck in a situation for so long and now someone is gaining that clarity. And it's like, dang, I've been running blindly in this situation all this time and now I see the truth. Um, Someone is wanting to... Negotiate something with you. Show us a message for Taurus. Taurus. <clears throat> Taurus. We have someone else is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. We have sexuality. Someone is still trying to figure themselves out. And one more. For Taurus, we have a fire sign, Aries Leo. Y'all, I'll tell you no lies. This thing on fire sign keep coming up. So fire sign came out with gold digger. So this fire sign could be a gold digger, y'all. And they could be confused about their sexuality. They don't know if they want... Boys or they won't, or hopefully not boys, but they don't know if they want men or women. Um, for some, this could just be someone is still trying to figure themselves out due to dealing with multiple people, okay? Because we do have someone else's in the middle. So it could be another lover type thing, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you don't want to deal with none of that. I don't care. Like, no, you don't want to deal with none of that. And then they're a gold digger. Someone is a gold digger here. They only want your money. They want to use you. Someone could be coming into realization about that. And this is what's what and this is this could be why someone is uh deciding to be single as well. Like, man, I might as well just be by myself then I deal with you. Someone is a straight up gold digger. 
Mm -hmm. They all about the money. All right, I'm going to leave that there, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Until next time. All right, Gemini. Spirit, please show us a message for Gemini. What is it for Gemini? Please show us a message for Gemini. 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 Gemini spirit. What is the message for Gemini? Gemini. Okay. Oh. And one more for Gemini. Let's get one more for Gemini. I don't know, Gemini. Judgment in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles here. Someone definitely could have been inv investing in the wrong people, the wrong bunch, the wrong person. Yeah, it looked like someone is giving up on, or there's just, whatever this competitive energy is, they're, um, they have no choice but to let go. Like, someone is feeling defeated because they realize that there's, you know, there's nothing that they can do. There's not, no other area, no other way they can come at you because it's being stopped with the judgment in reverse. I feel like, you know, they done had they had the time to get it right. They had time to go towards the door and follow the right path, you know. But no, someone chose to continue to stay in this lust food or uh, drinking or whatever it is that someone do. But with this judgment in reverse, it's like, okay, we're not giving you another chance. We're not letting we're not allowing you to make it to the door. So someone is being released from your energy it could be a scorpio that you're dealing with or this is you being released from this person because of your toxic behavior however this is five of wands is definitely giving me like the drama the chaos the problems the fights the conflict it stopped it stopped it was going on for some time but now it's released and someone now can invest in other things other crap or like this could be like maybe hmm what else can i do like your all your uh talents and skills could be coming up like coming to mind maybe it was um it was kind of pushed up under the rug due to this chaotic environment or dealing with all these this drama and problems so i don't know you could be very gifted or talented at something gemini and it's going to pick up if you invest into it you put more time into it so you're going to come in you're going to come up with all type of ideas that's going to um allow this to grow as well let's see more show us more on judgment 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 <sighs> judgment spirit for gemini show us more on judgment judgment clarify with the ace of wands someone could have had sex addictions very lustful energy yeah um, show us more on the five of wands in reverse. Five of wands, yeah, very lustful energy. We have the uh, knight of wands here. Um, someone was definitely like running from one person to the, to the next type thing. Show us more on the seven of uh, pentacles. Seven of pentacles for Gemini. Seven of pentacles is clarified with the eight of pentacles. All right, so your money growing. Like I said, you invest your time and energy into your business or something that you want to get off the ground or some type of talent or skill that you're just, you've been wanting to do. And But they're saying to invest in that. It's going to grow. It's going to grow. Perfect your skill. Perfect whatever it is that you're good at. Um, just work on it. Put in that work. Some of you, you could be picking up extra work, extra hours at this time. And for some of you, you could be working and you're thinking of another 
skill or talent that you have or that you could be doing. And they're saying go ahead and invest in that. You're able to do both. Yes, you are. Seven of Pentacles again. Nine of Pentacles. Yes. Grow that money, okay? You're very abundant at this time, I'm, I'm getting. Um, Let's see. Show us a message for Gemini. Yeah, it's like someone growing their business. But someone needs to release this lustful and sexual energy. For some of you need to cleanse your energy from this person who had this very sexual, lustful energy on them. And you know, if you have you encounter with that type of energy, then it's you too. So you have to cleanse your energy. Cleanse that energy away from you. Like, alright, I'm done with you now. Let me wipe my hands for good. Cleanse your energy. <laughs> Show us a message for um, Gemini. So this could have been someone that you were... Um, sexually involved with <clears throat> yeah we have move on someone is unavailable a waste of time it's over gemini show us more for gemini some of you could have been dealing with the fire sign aries leo sagittarius we have narcissists someone is too full of themselves mm, mm, mm. show us more on this energy for gemini mm, mm, mm. Some of you, that's why they're guiding you to your work, to your business, your finances, more of. Because whoever this narcissist is, you need to be distant from. You, This person could live at a distance from you as well. <clears throat> they're telling you to move on. Don't focus on this this energy, even if they make you mad. I don't feel like you're focusing on them in a in a good way, like you... You know, you you want in this. If you do, it's just sexually. Maybe the sex is good, but... It don't need to be no more, you know, because they're bringing in so much, uh, so many toxic energies. They're bringing in bad energies for you, and that can slow you down, slow you down for your progress. Your money is growing. Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, your money is growing. It's definitely leveling up. So in order for it to continue to do that, you need to release someone, someone that you are dating, sexually involved with, okay? Show us a message for Gemini. 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 Gemini spirit, show us. You have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Exactly. So you're you're um like you don't have to settle for this. We have give your give your relationship a chance in reverse. Clearly, they said move on. So yeah, in reverse, it's saying don't give this relationship a chance. Whoever this person is that you had to leave behind, leave them in the dust. <laughs> Show us one more for Gemini. Gemini, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, Gemini. All right. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, someone have addictions. I mean, this narcissist do. They definitely popped up in your reading. All right, let's close this out. What else, Spirit? For Gemini. Gemini. It's not worth it if just the sex is good. Don't let this, the sex... Um, blind you either where you like oh but they're a good person and, and all you thinking about dang this sex is bomb i can't let them go nope you gonna you gonna let this narc mess your whole life up so yeah um some of you you already released this person which is good this person is at a distance from you they could be trying to get back into your energy for some of you you need to release this we have butterfly relationship evolve into the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So some of you, you could have already released this and you're going into a new relationship or you have already. Show us more on this energy for Gemini. Mm, karmic relationship. Yeah, that was the situation. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Didn't I say that? For a lot of you, this message is mainly for those who... You're in transition of letting go of this narc. Whoever this person is, they like control. Um, 
So I'm getting also with this butterfly relationship evolve into the next phase, healing the inner child growth. That's how I started off, you know, with an art. That's how it worked. You know, they, they definitely love bomb you and charm you and make you feel like, dang, this is a good relationship. This is awesome. Well, yeah, we just, oh, this is great. We evolving. But then boom, here go the art. Okay, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. That's what it's supposed to be, just a one night stand. This person got way too many options. They're dealing with multiple people. They got keys, this place, that place, and your place. Like what? No. Release this person. <laughs> release them release them release them for some of you this person could be watching you they're reminiscing they only doing that because a narc only do that when they lose control so they losing control especially yeah that's what this is with the five of wands in reverse they lost the fight they could have been fighting against you for some time but they lost the fight all right that's all i have for you gemini thank you for tuning in until next time Hey, Cancer, let's get into your message. Cancer, Cancer, what is it for Cancer? Cancer, Cancer, all right. Cancer, show us a message for Cancer. It won't. So many want to come out. Cancer spirit. Show us a message for cancer. All right. Not a swords. Ace of cups. Mm. Show us one more for cancer. The emperor in reverse. Someone is losing control here. Due to a love situation. Someone could have been trying to move a connection really quickly like move into a connection really quickly but someone is losing control it's like let's move in together let's get married like <laughs> like i don't know someone hurrying up to do something way too quickly but they lost control because maybe the person decided to you know not do this they don't want this see that's always a red flag though when that happens Someone could be, um, maybe someone have a child or children that like, like swimming. Maybe, um, someone could be into swimming or something like that. Um, someone could, so, someone could be a barber. You could be a barber, uh, cancer, or, um, you could be just going, thinking about going to get your haircut or you just got your haircut or you're about to get your haircut. Um, men, women, you know, however, some of you could be thinking about getting your hair color, but I'm also getting like someone get their hair cut and they don't like it. They're like, man, you ain't do it right this time or something. <laughs> um, someone could have been trying to control a situation at work um, or something about working together, collaborating with some someone, but is someone lost control with that. Um, maybe this boss, maybe um, someone is being released. Maybe you could be finding out that your boss is being release from the job or something like okay again new owners or something um there's some type of transition that's happening someone could be an aries someone could be dealing with the aries or aries is being removed from your life um okay let's get more on this <clears throat> We'll be dealing with a Gemini. We have Gemini and Aries, and also your energy, Cancer. Show us more on this energy for Cancer. Let's get one on the Knight of Swords. Show us more on this Knight of Swords spirit. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Someone could be getting a new tattoo or thinking about getting a tattoo. Um, Someone likes control here. Yeah, someone likes to move things along when they want to move things along. Someone is wanting to have the upper hand in a situation here. That's why I'm getting like it's someone getting their hair cut. The person, you like, I want it to be cut here, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or is your man like, you know, I want the size a little low and whatever. However, 
and the person like, yeah, I got you, I got you, I'm going to do it my way, basically. And they just cutting it however they want to cut it. That's that person that's trying to, you know, they, they like control. So this could be in many different ways for you in your life. Like, dang, I said I don't want to do that. But the person is like, but I said I want to do that. So we're going to do how I want to do it. This could become a problem. Show us more. Ace of Cups. Show us more on the Ace of Cups. Someone could be receiving an award for something. Outstanding award. This could be a child or this could be you. Um, someone could be losing. Someone is... Someone could be releasing a Leo, or a Leo could be releasing themselves from you. Someone is also, I feel like someone is losing strength due to their love life or how things are going. Show us more with the uh, Emperor. Show us more on the Emperor. The Emperor clarified with the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, someone could have lost control due to, like due to someone's stability like someone could have maybe you're very stable you well grounded um you're very nurturing you're an outstanding person or however this is it's just someone was trying to control you trying to control how things go for you in your life and it's not working it's not working because it's not meant to work so it's crumbling in someone's face that's nothing but the spirits they're like no that's not how it's supposed to work the universe you know they just know what's right is right what's wrong is wrong basically so someone is losing control over you this could be a child's father for some of you you could be the child's father you know this could be a boss if you're male masculine this could be a boss of you a boss of you or maybe they you know they try to be the boss of you okay but um someone is being um either demoted or just removed like from the company or something or yeah something like that you're going to be happy about this um yeah eight of cups or you're just walking away and this is bringing you peace someone is walking away surrendering to a situation or this is what you need to do because say for instance is let's be honest if you if this is you cancer that's trying to have control over someone over someone's life and you lose this control is because of spirit they said no this is not how this is supposed to work you need to walk away and surrender to the situation stop trying to gain control over this person or over this situation whatever this is this job whatever it's like lose that you know release that because you don't you do not have control over everything so and if you don't, then that's when you're going to get hung up, you know. And I'm just speaking because it could be you, Cancer. But for some of you, this is not you. This is the person that was trying to control and dictate your life, okay? Yeah, someone is being left to go in isolation, retreat, and gain a different perspective over this situation. So this is what someone needs to do um, after messing with you or you messing with this person. <laughs> the devil. In secret. Yeah, someone was definitely trying to have major control for sure. For sure. Um, for some of you this could be a love situation, a lover that you, you're with or was with, or this is you. One or the other. Let's get one more for cancer. Cancer. Cancer spirit, let's see. Show us a message. All right, I told you. Listen there. Listen here. Okay, Cancer, we have grip, anchor, chains, way down. Someone was trying to have a tight grip on you or you on them. Um, twin flames. This could have been a twin flame connection. Twin flames is just to learn the lesson, mainly. Okay? But for some of you, this could have been a twin flame. This could have been a karmic twin flame. Okay? We have today, present, now, in the moment. Yeah, someone's definitely still trying to have control over a situation. But, you know, someone is being told to surrender to it. Let go of you or you let go of this person or situation. Okay? Some of you, it could be a fire sign, Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Because all of them here. Strongly. Or a Gemini. Um... 
for some, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like for some, especially feminine energy, you could be in this Queen of Pentacles. Um, or, you know, masculine. Because we we all carry both. Masculine and feminine. So take it however the message resonates for you. But I'm going to end it on that note. Um, so, yeah. The controller has no control anymore. <laughs> all right. And that is just how the cookie crumbles. Moving on to Leo. All right, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you. Leo Spirit, please show us a message for Leo. 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 What is it for Leo? One more. Leo, thank you. All right, Leo, let's see. Spirit, please show us a message for Leo. Judgment in reverse. Um, I think it was Gemini's that got judgment in reverse. Um, you got the magician in reverse. Mm -mm. Show us one more for Leo. Mm -mm. Just too much going on here. All right. Ooh, something has been returned back to sender. That's what this looks like. Something is, but this is the universe. This is karma for sure. We got judgment in reverse, magician in reverse, eight of cups in reverse, four, four swords in reverse. Eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone is going to jail. Spiritual jail. This could be actual jail, but it's no second chances. Someone was manipulating being toxic, doing things on purpose. Like, yeah, someone is under judgment. And there's no repent. No repent can save this person this time. So with the Eight of Cups in reverse, that's really giving me, like, return. You know, because something is returning. Eight of Cups in reverse. So return back, okay. Whoever this is, someone is restless. They're restless now because they're seeing, like, whatever they threw out, dished out, is coming right back to them. And that's how it works. That's why you shouldn't try to uh, cause harm against no one. Or cause any blockages or or just anything. You shouldn't even wish nothing bad up upon anyone. You know, um, you live and you learn. You go through lessons, hopefully. But it looked like in this situation, whoever this is, they went through too many lessons. And this is being wiped away. It's no repent. No repent can help this person this time. That's what I'm getting from this message. Just from this. Yeah, it's like it's no way out. That's what I'm getting. No way out. Eight of Swords here. No way out. It's no way out of this situation. Ooh wee. Someone could be panicking, scared. Four of Swords in reverse, really giving me like pace in the floors. Can't rest. Restless. Mind restless. Just feeling stuck. Yeah. Ooh, Leo. Who done did it? Who getting it now? Because it's somebody getting it, okay? It could be a Virgo. It could be a Gemini. We have Scorpio. Uh, I said Gemini. Um, Libra energy here as well. All right, let's see. Let's see more on this energy for Leo. So for some of you with the signs, you could have those placements. Um, or the person may have those placements. Uh, rather your sun, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus. Could be your Mercury um, as well. But whoever, whatever, it don't matter. Whoever did the wrong, they getting wrong. Well, no, they getting right. <laughs> they getting they getting right. Was was right? Okay. All right. Show us more on this energy. Let's get more on the judgment. Judgment for Leo. Clarify judgment. Someone was reckless. Reckless. We got the three of swords. Someone is heartbroken. Woo. Someone getting it bad. Show us more on judgment and reverse. Judgment. I mean, not judgment. I'm sorry, spirit. Magician. Magician and reverse. Magician. Someone is heartbroken because they, they're realizing that there's no second chances here. With the Ten of Wands, someone is feeling burdened, weighed down. Someone may have to move. Someone is is, is trying to dig. So, someone could have tried to dig you a grave, but now they got to dig themselves a grave? God dang, that's messed up. It don't have to be technical, you know, but... Mm -hmm. 
someone's trying to dig their way out of something but it don't look like they're getting anywhere and that's why the ten of wands is here it's like no mm -mm. we at the end we gave you a chance hey um someone had a chance to get their life in order stop doing certain things that was not healthy for your mind your mental your body your spirit and someone kept doing the same things and that's the same that if it's not against someone it's against yourself all right so for some of you it could be you you're going through this or this could be the person that they're going through their karma okay so take it however it resonates let's get more on the eight of cups in reverse eight of cups in reverse spirit eight of cups in reverse the devil mm, mm, mm. Yeah, the devil is coming to collect. That's what this is. The Eight of Cups in reverse with the devil. The devil said, hey, I need something. You got to give me what you said you was going to give me. You said you was going to give that to me. You said you was going to stay on the dark side, okay? So I need you to go ahead and stay on that dark side. Oh, you said you was going to go get it from that person. Oh, but you have no access to that person, so I need it from you. So that's what's happening here. Someone is... Someone... They don't... They don't... Oh, they about to they about to find out from the devil for sure. Show us more on the four of swords in reverse. Four of swords in reverse. Someone was moving with the devil. It could be a Gemini. We got the lovers clarifying the four of swords. Someone this this Gemini could be restless because of what they did to you. For some of you, this is just an another lover. Uh this one a, a lover, somebody. Okay. Someone could be restless because they know they effed up. And they they finding out now show us yeah woo wee woo wee woo wee show us more on the eight of swords dang leo show us more on the eight of swords this you know if you're on the good end i'm rooting for you this is a excellent reading for you but if this is you boy you about to go through some major stuff major stuff show us more on the eight of uh, swords Eight of Swords is clarified. Yeah, so some of you, you could have felt stuck in a situation dealing with this person. Someone also could have just tried to pin you down, possibly with a child. Or you could have just felt stuck because of the just the whole situation, what they put you through. The lies, the manipulation. So I feel like you are... You're escaping this situation. So some of you, you, you could be releasing yourself from this, but they have to stay stuck here. Mm-hmm. Someone definitely needs to work on their inner child. And it looks like they're not working on their inner, inner child at all. And that's why they're repeating cycles and going through all this karma. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Woo wee. I can't remember if your reading was based on someone receiving their karma last week, but this is definitely major karma being dealt with. The devil said, pay up. <laughs> the devil said, pay up. What, what, you, what you thought she was about to get away? Oh, no. I need my money. <laughs> this devil like, no, I need it. It's funny. It's funny because someone thought they was really about to get away with this over and over and over again. Um, cycles. Look at that. Fate. Karma. Something ending, something beginning. Exactly. This is all what this is about. The devil said, pay up, baby. What you thought? Where you, th where you thought you was going? Oh, no. See, that's the person. You see how the, the strings is on this? See, that's the that's the manipulation. Someone, the devil been manipulating someone. And with the strings attached to this person, this person is looking like the four swords energy that's restless and stressed out, looking like they just don't know what to do, how to get out of this situation. The devil said, no, you stuck to me. Because you got to pay up. The devil got his hand out. Like, where where my money at? Where 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 what you said you owe me? Like, what, what, where there is... It don't have to be money, you know, of course. It's, it's something. <laughs> Whatever this person was trying to do to you. Communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. You know, that's the good side of you. You know, for your life to be better. For your life to continue to grow and, and, and evolve. Um, of course, forgiveness is needed, but forgive for the sake of you. 
Not for the sake of that person. Forgive for the sake of you. Like, look, I forgive you because I know I need to move forward. I need to evolve. So I have to forgive this situation. And I'm going to leave it up to God. I'm going to leave it up to the universe to handle this situation however it's supposed to handle. But on my part, I'm going to forgive you. And I don't care what they did. Forgive them. Because it's not hindering you. They can't attach to you. They have no... They can't. All this craziness that they were doing they no mm -mm. some of you ooh, someone could be expecting a pregnancy oh someone could have purposely got someone stuck due to a pregnancy oh my gosh with this devil no 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 mm, mm, mm. i hope y'all not pregnant uh leo i hope you not for some of you this person got this devil pregnant this <laughs> take it however it resonates Let's get more on this. Oh, my goodness. We got Mercury retrograde intuition. Um, so, some of you, you're going to have some communication issues. Maybe it's just hard for you to talk at this time. It's not like normally you could just get out what you want to say. But it's like uh, it's like you, you you holding your tongue. Or, or for some of you, it could be electronic issues. But they want you to follow your intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. All right? Mm-mm. Uh, I want to get more on this pregnancy. Show us more on the pregnancy for Leo. Show us more on this pregnancy. Someone's karma is that someone is pregnant. Maybe someone did, maybe someone did some dirt to you, hurt you, and they got someone pregnant, and their life could be in shambles right now or something. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. Show us more on pregnancy. Pregnancy, yes, yeah, someone took a took a risk. The fool here. Show us more on the fool and pregnancy. The fool. Clarify with the seven of pentacles. And the seven, I mean, the seven of pentacles and the queen of cups. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Oh, they're telling you to invest in this, though. So, for some of you, if you are pregnant, hopefully it's not. I don't know if, mm-mm. This pregnancy could be this may not be a bad one i mean i mean of course the child no i can't say of course because you know it's 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 some bad seeds that's born too but um you know it's the the spirit it's the spirit but that's not what i'm getting okay i'm getting like Some of you could be finding out about a pregnancy or about a child. This child could be like seven years, eight years, nine years old, something like that. Like you could be finding out about this child as well. Maybe someone had a child with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or uh, or the child mother could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. Someone could have had a child out of a connection too. Someone could have had a choice between two lovers and someone is losing, wrecking their brain about this because it's like they kept being drawn back to this person and they got, they, they now someone's pregnant. Yeah, the tower and the, the higher friend, so a commitment is being broken down. The tower has hit. Because the truth has been exposed and someone could be throwing someone out, blocking someone, locking someone out with the seven of wands. Because someone was definitely breadcrumbing or giving to multiple, multiple people, okay? Multiple lovers. It could be an Aries. Um, some of you could be dealing with the Aries or this this your child's father. But some of you, an emperor, could be going into new love. An Aries could be going into new love. Someone could be getting married or going into a commitment. Someone could be finding out. A mask on could be finding out that their uh their wife or their uh, significant other got pregnant by someone else as well. So it could definitely be both ways. Um, because I'm seeing the emperor going into new love. So the emperor could be the safe zone in this situation. I don't know. Take it however it resonate for you. Please 
show us a message for Leo. Leo, and let's close out at this. Leo. Leo Spirit, please show us a message for Leo. Oh no, I still got another deck to. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self love, self care, being happier. Mm hmm. Not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, <laughs> fear, ego issues, jealousy. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. <laughs> Kisses and butterflies. So, a relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child. Didn't I say someone got to heal the inner child? Yep, well, it's here. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So, I feel like it's like kind of giving me third party situation. Someone could have fell in love with the third party, got them pregnant, and that's what it is. Um, someone is heartbroken. A twin flame connection is, is, is just someone is not dealing. Someone could be hurt, you know, avoiding a conversation, a call, a person. Someone is setting boundaries. They're angry that someone got someone else pregnant. So yeah, someone may have got someone else pregnant. That's what this is looking like. And they're under judgment for doing this. Okay. Take it however it resonates, you guys. Of course, look into your other signs for other messages. If this is not or if it is. Alright, and until next time, Leo. Alright, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you. Spirit, please show us a message for Virgo. Virgo, 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 Virgo spirit. What's going on, Virgo? The Empress, what else for Virgo? Three of Wands, whoa. And the Strength. All right, so we have Leo energy here, Taurus, uh, Libra energy here, and Aries energy here. We have Scorpio energy or uh, any water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a masculine energy, the devil. Follow right behind a King of Cups. Jeez. This could be a family man or someone, who, but they're toxic. They may have addictions. Just go, they just make l lousy choices. But they could be looked upon as a family man. What? So I guess, you know, they do what they do in the dark. And then when they come around family, they look, they put on a face. Where they're loving, caring, or the children just love them. Love, love this man but they're really dark or they have dark tendencies or they do a lot of um toxic things this person could be a gambler a risk taker or they could have a drug addiction or maybe they they gamble a lot with money and just spend money on careless things or have a drinking habit someone could be um intoxicating themselves quite a bit someone is just and it's like going the wrong way purposely like i know what's right but i want to do what's wrong someone is the, you know working with the devil they're being led by the devil so yeah someone um but like i said they put on this 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 mask when they're around family or children um to be the best loving father figure or this could be a mother but I, i'm getting the father with the king um, at least in this energy for some reason. So, I don't know. Take it however it resonates for you. But, um, because it could be a female in their masculine energy. And they just have a lot of toxic traits. But we do have I Love Dad on the cup as well with the King of Cups. And you see how the children grabs it on to. Like, she's holding on to him. And then the son in, in the back smiling. The dog is happy. But this is what this person is really... You know, this is who they really are. Nine of Swords. Someone could have a pill addiction, some type of drug addiction. Someone could be, like, stressed out. 
So when they get stressed out, they go to the, towards these addictions to um to numb them. All right, and leaving the mother to take care of the children and I don't know. Take it however it resonates. That the mother looked tired, worn out. She looked like, okay, baby, I got you, though. I'm, I'm going to take care of baby. Come here. All right. But I'm tired, though. I'm tired. I get it. <laughs> but I got you. I'm going to make sure I got you, baby. I got you. Mommy got you. I don't care if I'm tired. I'm sick. I mean, I, you get it. When you, If you get it, you get it. But, um... Uh, the three of wands, it looked like this mom, this mother is planning to have strength. Yeah, it's like you're trying to get back up, okay? Because she looked worn out. And it's like, I got to get back up. I need to get get my, get my regain my strength to have victory over this situation. I have to conquer this. I have to overcome these obstacles. I have to overcome this mountain. I have to climb this mountain. I don't care. I have to. And I'm going to do it. And the real love, the love, wow. This, I see the difference with this empress. The empress, listen, if you're male, if you're male um, Virgo, you know, you could switch the roles if it's, if it's meant to be, if it's really that, you know. But if it's your message and you're not taking heed to it, and you just like, oh, that is, that's not me, but it really is, then you need to work on self so you can overcome this. We all go through, you know, trials and tribulations through our life journey, but it's to learn and move forward, not to stay stuck because that's going to keep someone stuck. Now, back to the message as far as what I was getting, like you see the heart above this mother head, so whether you're male or female, but this empress, she's giving love out. She's, she's actually sharing her love with her babies and trying to, you know, grab someone to them. Whereas in this one, this person looks selfish. His hands is up and like, y'all love on me. Like, you know, I'm just getting a different vibe, a different energy here. And it just, it just makes sense with the devil here. So someone could be like... They like, um, possibly this person like control, like to have control, have the upper hand, the masculine energy, whether male or female. <coughs> Let's get more on this energy for Virgo. Show us more on the Empress. Someone could have two or three children. One to three children. Okay, or more. Uh, is more on this energy for uh virgo someone could be overcoming like physical injuries someone could have could have been in a wheelchair someone could have um overcame that or is overcoming that or you know still working on themselves someone is or this is just your inner strength that you're working on you know and it's, it's mind over matter with anything you just got to know that you gotta know that you have to know that you gotta understand that your mind is what gets you through everything if you're uh if you're uh intoxicating yourself and blurring your vision with your drinks and you know the alcohol the smoking and or the um drugs then of course how you gonna how are you gonna gain that strength you know because it's blurred you're not yourself but when you're more you're 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 more present, you're in the present energy, present moment, you're sober, you're able to regain that strength. So <clears throat> for whoever that's for, but also uh through all this, whoever is just going through all this, you have to deal with this toxicity of this person, this person energy that they bring with them to the home or to your environment however this is or you just have to deal with this person whether in the same home or not either way it's still toxic and it's it's draining it's draining someone and that's why they're saying to regain this strength um someone may literally have to overcome some physical uh injuries okay as she is in a wheelchair look i was in a wheelchair for a, a year over a year okay so 
uh and i'm here and you know i'm still working on self and it's gonna you know it's still gonna take time but at the same time my mind is is way too strong you know it's nothing nothing can break me down and nothing will so you gotta know that because there's people out here that like to play in black magic there's people out here that want to hurt you and cause pain and 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 injuries to you because of of your strength <laughs> They want to hurt you and put you in a place where you are so weak, you know, because of your strength. And you have to understand, that's why they coming against me, because of my strength. So let me go ahead and up it. Let me go ahead and up it. Let me show you how strong I am. It's nothing or no one. There is no one in this world that can take your strength from you but yourself. Know that. Or... You know, unless it's that time, the universe, God want to just say, you know, it's time, time's up. But, you know, other than that, you got this, Virgo. You got this. Show us a message on the Empress. The Empress. Nine of Pentacles. So you could be, like I said, this is a single mother trying to get through it. They trying to handle everything on their own. They got to take care of the children, take care of their health, take care of the, everything, okay? <laughs> Look, the, the, and the father just sitting back there watching, and he's laughing like it's funny. Like, what if you don't get up and actually help? What the heck? No. This, whoever this is, whether father or mother, because it could be switched, okay? It definitely can. So take it however it resonates, please and thank you. Let's get more on the Three of Wands. For Virgo, Three of Wands. Clarify the Three of Wands. Three of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups and the Strength. Man, they telling you that self-love is, is powerful, okay? That's basically what they're telling you. Self-love is the best drug. The best drug, okay? That's the drug that you need to have. Don't allow the, the sad days, the tired days, the... Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to make it days. Guy, uh, end up having you into wanting to do, let me get a bottle. Let me get, let me go ahead and take some pills. Let me go ahead and smoke my life away. Like, no, don't let that, don't let that mess you up, okay? Because that's all it's going to do. Your mind needs to stay focused right now because they're telling you, you need to regain your strength. Show us more on strength. Strength for Virgo. Strength clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, your energy. Okay, so you need to get grounded. You need to regain your strength. That's what they're saying. Some of you could be dealing with a narcissist here too. King of Swords and the Moon type energy with this devil energy in the same reading. Yeah. Um. Mm. I mean, that sound about right with the mask type thing. Uh, let's see more on this energy for Virgo before we move on, Spirit. Virgo. Virgo. Mm -mm, right here. Virgo, Spirit. Show us a message for Virgo. 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 You got strength in your reading twice, Virgo. <laughs> if you ain't strong, who is? Like, you better. They telling you your strength is way stronger than what you think. Like, yo, you got this. You got the power. <laughs> Show us a message for a Virgo. We have vacation in reverse. So maybe <laughs> this is a lover type situation. You like, man, I don't want a vacation with you. I don't want to deal with you. I'm good on you. Some of you, you have new love coming in. And it could be with the Leo. Show us. Um, some of you could have Leo placements. And you could be coming into connection with the Leo. Show us more on this energy for Virgo. Or they have Leo placements. We have health. Health issues could arise. Yeah, if you stressing yourself out. You're going to have to release this energy, whoever this person is. We have love spell. Mm. Someone doing spell work. That's why they, the, the message came up with the black magic. Uh-huh. I wonder who. Who doing spell work? Mm. Yeah. 
let's get one more on the um le let's get more on this love spell someone could be trying to do love spells on you uh, or trying to do some type of spell work on you to keep you stuck or cause some type of health issues on you they don't want you to move on into into new love but they don't want to do right by you either show us more on this love spell love spell clarify with what the lovers could be a gemini or they're just doing a love spell to make you fall in love with them so you won't leave a toxic guy i said it and i meant it it came out too fluently man they are trying to keep you stuck to them they need to do some work show us more for virgo this could be a father figure or an Aries that could be doing spell work on you. This could be you. This could be an a Aries feminine, female, queen of swords energy here too. This could be a Gemini or Aries female or 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 male. Looks y'all could have these placements or they could, but this person could be at a distance from you too. That's doing spell work on you you on whoever mm. yep they doing spell work that's what's going on here people who i'm not even about to say it like people just gonna have to learn on their own i picked up the deck look at this pay attention to the red flags signs are cautioning you show us a message for a virgo virgo Virgo. Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I feel like that's like just speak up. Speak up for yourself. Don't hold nothing back. Let this person know how you feel and what you want and what you about. Like you no, don't tell them your plan. Like your plan, <laughs> they doing spell work on you and stuff. Nah. Don't tell them your plan. Just make your moves. Just just figure it out and make your moves silently. All right, make the effort for you, your children, for the sake of your children. All right, some of you are going to be coming into a soulmate connection. Uh, you're going to be flirting a lot, but I feel like someone definitely have a codependency, and it could be you, Virgo. This codependency could be like you've been with this person for so long, it's hard to get out of this toxic relationship. That could be the codependency. So it's like it's hard because it's like I've been here for so long, I don't know what's next or what, what, what's, what, what could happen i might as well just stay where i'm familiar like no so you can end up killing yourself because that's what that energy gonna do it's gonna definitely take you out of this world rather through sickness or some type of injury dealing with this type of no you gonna have to release yourself from this situation don't be codependent on it the trust me it's better it's better if i could do it you could do it if I could do it, you can do it, okay? All right, so let's leave that there. Thank you, Virgo, for tuning in. Until next time, many blessings. All right, Libra spirit, let's see. What's going on for Libra? Show us a message for Libra. 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 Uh-oh, let me I forgot to title. Virgo, just a moment, Libra. All right, Libra. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Libra, spirit, please show us a message for Libra. 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 Libra, spirit. Libra. All right, Five of Swords. Show us more for Libra. What is this about? Ten of Cups. Libra. One more. The Sun. All right, Libra. Some of you could be dealing with uh, Leo. You could have Leo placements or, or Sagittarius placements. Or this person do. Take it however it resonates. We have Pisces energy here and Aquarius um it looks like there could be some type of dispute in a family dynamic uh 
or you could be finding out what this conflict was all about or what really happened or something. Um, balance is needed. Balance is needed to be restored. There could be a third party in the mix. It could be a mother figure that could be in the middle trying to, I don't know, this person could be causing chaos in a family. Take it however it resonates. And you may not even look at it as, you know, like that. Because it looked like to me, and I don't always get this like this. Not in this card, not this message. But to me, it looked like, okay, the, the husband and a wife, or this could be a boyfriend, girlfriend, baby mother, baby father, however. They're, um, they're at odds, you can tell. She's got her arms, they both got their arms folded, okay. That's definitely obvious that they're, you know, kind of um stubborn to each other right now they're not talking he, she just look she's looking mad at him he's looking straightforward like not even paying attention to her but he hear her but not hearing her but the mom or the grandmother whoever this is in the background like oh i got some food for y'all like i don't know it just seemed deceptive it seemed like sh like she's the problem out of this situation like if if this person wasn't here, these two would be getting along as shown in here. Like, you know, the husband and wife, the children, the rainbow, the home, the house, like happiness. It just seemed happy, but it seemed like a situation here that could be influencing this connection. So whether your mother, their mother, their grandmother, your grandmother, it could be a father. It could be whoever, but it just don't seem healthy. Maybe you reside together. They all in the same home. Someone could be, uh, I don't know. Not saying, I mean, this person don't have to be a bad person, but it's a, it's a, it's definitely a third party influence on a connection, you know. So it could definitely hinder the connection in some type of way. Someone may like cats. Someone may have cats. Maybe this mother figure have cats or like cats because the cat is right behind her. Um, I don't know, you guys. And it's like, yeah, I influenced that. She's smiling like, yeah, I told her. So say, for instance, this is the mother of the daughter. And like, yeah, I got in her ear and it's working. Yeah, it's working. They mad at each other. Because why the hell are you smiling? Like, what, what you smiling at? Like, they're mad. Like, you what? Okay. But anyway, um, that could be the situation for someone very clearly. But outside of that, it do just look like it needs someone's family dynamic need balance. Um, but we're going to get more on this. Let's get more on this conflict with the five of swords. It could be conflict like who, like who's in charge, you know, especially if there's a, 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 a parental in a home of two adults that, you know, to a couple, a husband and wife, you know, it's like, who is in charge? Well, this is our home or this is the parent home. Like who, that can cause conflict in some type of way, but that's why you have to separate the two. All right, let's get more on this energy with the five of swords. For some of you, I don't know, this could be you and a brother. You and the brother is getting into it. Y'all not seeing eye to eye. But it seemed like it's a, a an influence, someone, a third party that's influencing this, this drama, the Five of Swords energy. Show us more. Keeping two people at odds purposely. Show us more on the Five of Swords. It's like a messy grandmother, or or it could be an aunt. It could be a mother. Page of Wands. Conflict in a message, like what what someone says. It's just someone is so combative, always want to argue. Show us more on the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups for Libra. The King of Swords in reverse. Someone is, a, it's a masculine energy. It's like, man, I'm not. Okay. Someone could be, uh, they could be losing their sh about to say some reckless, or this person could get real reckless at the mouth because they're tired. It's like someone is, is, Get into the boiling point here. Show us more on the sun. The sun. Clarify the sun. The sun is clarified with the sun. So a lot of clarity coming out here. Someone is seeing something clearly like, oh, I see why we always having conflict and problems. It's you. Like, 
I don't know. Some of you, it's a child. A child could be causing a lot of conflict in a family as well. I don't know. It's just a lot of stirred up crap here. And it's causing a lot of stress and anxiety. And someone is having it. They, they, they like, they're tired. They about to blow up or blow something up. Um. All right, Libra. That was a message for... It could be, I don't know. It looked like the masculine here is ready to just, they tired of this. They, it's like, um, or they could, the masculine could be very rude with what they say, like how they say things. It could be very, very uh, rude, just nasty with what they say, like how they, yeah, they could be very argumentative. Um. And very blunt, but in a real distasteful way. Um, they could be very cold or narcissistic energy. Like, they talk when they want to talk. They like that control. Show us um, a message here for Libra. 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 So many cars want to come out. Some of you is an air sign, of course, Libra Gemini. Someone have pets or they like pets, whether a cat or dog. Some of you could have been seeing birds lately. That's a sign of messages coming in to you. You know, they could be telling you, like, that's a sign to pay attention to your intuition, too. You know, or listen, figure out what, why is that bird? Why that bird could be coming in or. You could see that, say for instance, you keep seeing this bird. It could be a sign for you to look into uh, your messages. Maybe you overlooked the message or something like that. But um, some of you just need to get outdoors more. Get out this house. Maybe you and your partner, like, get away from everybody. Or maybe, you know, and see the difference. Like, dang, okay, when we come home, we are you we're fire. But when we away, we're good. It might be the energy in the home. Like, you need to cleanse it. Uh, cleanse it, as in cleanse the air, the energy in there. But it also could be cleansing due to releasing someone that needs to be removed from the home. Okay? This person could be causing a drama to chaos. Maybe you will work better with this person at a distance. Show us a message for Libra. Libra. Challenges. This could be very challenging for you. Make a decision. Work on the inner healing. We have manifest. Tell the universe exactly what it is that you want. What else? Gambling. Problems with addictions or gambling. Bad finances. Someone could be bad with their finances. That could be the arguments. And then, and again, I feel like it's... So, say, for instance, two a couple could be at odds. The the feminine could be on this masculine, like, man, you, you just wasting money, spending money, blah, blah, blah. But the these two could have had the mom or the grandmother and the child or whoever this is, or the aunt, whoever, could have had conversations outside of this couple. And this person, you like, yeah, you just need to tell this person this and that and just like first of all that person needs to stay out of this couple relationship let them figure it out you know um especially if this is just a third party and they ain't got no man like what you doing why are you telling this this fam this husband and wife or you don't have or you can't keep a man one or the other you with a man this day and next week and the next you know or uh have a Take it however it resonate, but some whoever this is is not someone to get good advice from. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Whether they have a man or not, it's just someone that's not someone you could you should get good advice from. Um, they're telling you to compromise, forgive, and work it out with this person. So whoever you're re you're in a relationship with, or this could be a family member. You know, for some of you, this don't necessarily have to be a lover. This could be a family member, but they're telling you to communicate. All right, handle it with communication. I'm going to end it there. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time. All right, Scorpio. 
Spirit, please show us a message for Scorpio. What is the message for Scorpio? Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's see, Spirit, Scorpio energy at this time. What else for Scorpio? And one more for Scorpio. Whoa. All right, you have the Ace of Wands, the Fool, and the Justice. So some of you could be dealing with the Aries or a Libra or an Aquarius. Or this energy is just here. Here, you could have placements. They could have placements. Um, you have the tower at the bottom of the deck. You definitely could be dealing with the Aries or a, a Scorpio, another Scorpio. And, but something is being shaken up to get balanced back out. That's what I'm getting with the tower and the two of pentacles as well. It's like whatever this shake up is, it's a shake up a foundation. Shake up the, the normal routine to uh get you ready for or get you yeah get you ready for this new beginning like to, to in order or to release things that's no longer serving you to go into something new um just to balance your life back out or something um Uh, so, but with the Ace of Wands you have here, I do feel like a lot of um, creativity could be coming up with you. Or you could be just in a real creative uh, energy right now. You could be wanting to create new things, coming up with so many new ideas, um, wanting to take the risk, wanting to, you know, or just take a leap of faith upon those new ideas, this, uh, this creativity. Some of you could be painters or writers um you're very uh you're also very gifted with the mind so you may um be very imaginative imaginative <laughs> as well so maybe you but you but not just that you actually create things with the imagery so whatever it is that you um come up with in the mind like you um when you're ready to put it down on paper or you're ready to go about this, then it actually flourish into what it is that you've manifested, that manifestation come true. So, or they're telling you this, you know. Um, that's why they're saying to take this risk, take that leap of faith. Um, you have justice here. With that being said, justice is being served. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do, you're going to have the right of way, Okay. Um, this could be shocking to you. Uh, like, say, for instance, you, you're like, oh, I'm going to just go ahead and do it. I wouldn't see how it turned out. And you actually get way more uh, good out of it than what you expected. Like, your expectations was maybe high but or midway, and it was higher after doing it. So... Yeah, they're telling you something looks really good here. Um, some of you are are really crafty, or um, uh, are you being guided to do something in the arts of some sort? Um, you're being guided to paint or or draw or put your words on paper or in a book or in a movie or in a you know something like that like you're being guided to to that or this is what you do and it's just going well for you and they're telling you to get more creative do something else um yeah uh I, some of you may have a court situation that's coming up um, but that looked like things is being balanced out for you. Whatever this is, it looked like things are being fair and balanced for you with the justice and the two of pentacles here. Um, you could be receiving some shocking news or maybe this is what you received already. 
Um, some of you, you could have been in a car wreck. This could be what the court, what the court uh, situation is about. For some of you, it's just two parties is feuding against each other about, you know, this court situation. Or, um, but it's going to be balanced out. It's going to be balanced out the way it should be. You know, if you're in a right away, then you get the right. If you're not, it's not. Whoever, but it's still going to be balanced the way it needs to be balanced. For some of you, you could have been seeing bees. You could have been seeing bees a lot. That's actually a good omen. So, um, that could be a sign to you to let you know that things are working itself out. Uh, someone could be in, could be like a contractor, um, some type of contractor. Hold on, y'all. Be right, right back. Oh. All right, so some of you could be, uh, you could be like into, or you could be uh, building something or getting something built, um, like a home or some type of construction site is, is um, or, yeah, you could be getting something built or you're looking at a, something with construction. Um, yeah, you could be orchestrating that, like trying to figure out, okay, I want it this way. Maybe that's something that you drew, you drew up how you want it to be, whatever. Um, it could be some type of dispute in that situation. You may have to take someone to court about that. For some, that's not everyone. Um, if someone was trying to get away with something, okay? They were trying to, uh, underhand you some type of way. They didn't want to, um, do their, their job correctly or something. But let's get more on this energy for, uh, Scorpio. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio, the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands for Scorpio, Eight of Cups, hmm, show us more on the Fool, Eight of Pentacles, show us more on Justice for Scorpio, Justice, Five of Swords. Yeah, the conflict. It's a dispute here. This could be about something that you've been working on or something about work. This could be about something that you do for work. Like someone is trying could be trying to get you to give up on coming against them or trying to get you to give up on your your craft, your, 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 your passion of some sort. Trying to get you to walk away from what it is that you do best or that you love. Yeah, it's an energy here that's, that's not wanting you to work on what you, what you're good at, what you do. Um, but this is what's bringing you blessings and gifts. Um, this could be your gift, okay? Your gift is whatever it is that you're good at, that you do, that you're talented at, or whatever. Um, let's get more on the Eight of Cups. 88 could be significant for someone. Show us more on the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, clarify with the Queen of Swords. Someone could, maybe you're a speaker, or you do something, or you, you could be in, uh, communications of some sort maybe you're in the music industry or you commute or you you have a podcast or you speak on or you're in youtube like me or you um uh you know in social media period whatever or you could just be doing something with communication maybe you're a writer okay that's communication as well or you know you put you you're vocalizing yourself however it is whether you know, um, it's internally, externally, whatever this is, someone don't want you doing it, okay? <laughs> someone don't want you doing it. Show us more on the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Because you're an inspiration. You inspire others. Eight of Pentacles with the, with the star. You a star. Like, come on now. Like, what? You a star in your own, you know, not 
star as in but you know some of you are some of you are stars as in uh famous or publicly well known but some is just you 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 are star seed okay you are born with gifts you are born to uh to uh inspire others and help others in their journey just with what you do okay um show us more on the five of swords and the uh justice Five of Swords and a Justice. Show us more on a Five of Swords and a Justice. We have Eight of Swords. Someone could feel stuck after. Okay. So Justice is being served to whoever was trying to cause some conflict with you. Someone could be going to jail. Someone may have to go to jail. This don't necessarily have to be actual physical legal jail. This could be spiritual jail, you know, due to them coming at, after you or trying to um, get you to stop doing what you're meant to do. Show us more on the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Clarify with the Five of Cups. And now someone is sad and they're regretful for their choices. Because they shouldn't have been trying to hold you back from your purpose. Do you know God don't like that? Like, no. You you trying to hold my child back from their purpose. That I sent them here to do. And you you think you have more control? Oh, no. what You got to go. You got to have punishment. So someone getting punishment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Show us a message for Scorpio. Someone don't like the fact that you are creative. Someone don't like the fact that you're able to just create things. This could be just with your own, like, you don't have to... Maybe you don't have to work for a company or work for you work for yourself. Or it's just things that you're able to do that maybe that person can't do. It's just it seems like hate. Just jealousy and hate. Whereas they could just follow their journey and figure out what they're creative at instead of worrying about you. Jeez Louise. Some of you, um, this is a dispute due to some type of contracting. Okay? Something they said they was gonna do, they didn't do, or they didn't they didn't do it correctly. So you're taking them to court about this, or this is what they're doing. They're taking you to court. Show us a message for uh, Scorpio. Caution. We have caution. Find out more information. Um, don't overwork yourself. Show us more for Scorpio. Air sign. This could be communication I'm getting, especially with the Queen of Swords here. This could be uh, uh, between you and the air sign or a water sign. We have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It says, caution. Show us more. What about this energy? Let's get someone else. Someone else is in the middle trying to sabotage this. Yeah, someone is in the middle. An air sign or water sign could be trying to sabotage this. Well, they got a... a they just don't know. They just call in more, uh, more blockages for themselves with the Eight of Swords here. That's what's happening. Show us more on this energy with the air sign. Let's get this air sign. Yes, yeah, someone could be maybe the air sign and water sign going to jail. Confirmation. Yeah, they could be going to jail for coming against you or. Trying to sabotage you in some type of way. Or there could be a water sign or an air sign, if not both. Okay? Some of you, you have new love coming in. Ace of Cups here. Show us more on this air sign. What's this air sign about? Show us a message on the air sign. Air sign is clarified with the sun. You're receiving some clarity here about this air sign. Show us um, more on this water sign. Water sign. It's clarified with the six of swords. A water sign is moving on, moving towards peace and calmer waters. Um, after coming to realization about this air sign, what they did, they should have been more cautious or you should have been. King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Um... 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show us more on this King of Wands or Scorpio. King of Wands. Show us more on the King of Wands for Scorpio, Queen of Pentacles, and the Strength. Leo energy, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So it's a lot of clarity here. Like either a fire sign, a Leo, any fire sign or Leo, um, or earth sign could be gaining clarity about an air sign or about this water sign. Someone is trying to flee the scene, get away or something. Show us more on the Six of Swords. Show us more on the Six of Swords. Strong Gemini energy here with this air energy and the lovers coming out. Uh, Empress. And a Temperance. Someone is in love with this Empress. It could be a mother figure, baby mother, or just... um. If it's not a baby mother, this could definitely be like uh, just someone that views someone as the empress, you know. Uh, all the queens in the, in the, in the, in in, the, in tarot, um, someone who is well put together, okay, and they're very divine, okay. They have this light surrounding them. Whether this is you, or this is how someone is viewing someone, whether they're viewing you or they're viewing someone. Or you're viewing someone like this, okay? Um, but they're telling someone to have patience in a love situation due to communication. Because you're going to get what you want with the Ten of Cups. Okay? You're going to get what you want. And you're going to have a fulfillment in love. Um. Yeah, I feel like you and this person, are you're very good at communicating. You're able to talk to this person. This person is able to talk to you. Like, you just get each other or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just looked like there could have been a dispute here or a dispute is coming up. Something is happening here where others are involved or trying to get involved or someone is trying to get others involved. But they're all, it's like... That's not going to work. They're going to end up in a five of swords, the eight of swords, and a five of cups. Misery. Misery loves company. They're going to be miserable for coming against you. Because they shouldn't have did that because it's not right. All right. So what else do you want to say for uh, Scorpio? Scorpio spirit. Show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. I just heard fake protests. <laughs> Show us a message for Scorpio. Show us a message for Scorpio. Roller coaster, highest high, adrenaline rush. Show us more for Scorpio. Karmic, third party relationship lesson. Someone could be realizing that someone that they were dealing with was a third party karmic and they could have sabotaged a connection with you. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's over with now. And someone is in mental prison, mental prison, confined, lockdown. Yeah, someone is realizing that someone that, okay. Yeah, and we got irre irreconcilable differences, divorce final. So for some of you, someone is realizing that a third party was karmic. They, That was someone's lesson. And they took it and ran with it and thought that this person was going to be the person for them or something. I don't know. But someone is definitely going through it mentally. Because justice I have been served here. And, and someone's justice could be the fact that this person have to live with that with, with that decision. So some of you, they can't have you back. <laughs> That's just what it is. Or um, you can't have them back. Take it however it resonates. But some of you could be going to court for a divorce. This could be all about a divorce. And someone could be trying to get others to testify against you and uh, pretty much lie on your name. They don't even know what's going on. They just, whatever this person told them, they in on it. Like, because they rolling with this person. Oh, okay, yeah. 
y'all dummies. Like, y'all don't even know what's going on, but y'all go follow this person just because they said X, Y, and Z, and you haven't even heard from this person. Okay, yeah, guess what? Karma dealt. Because they shouldn't have came against you, or they did whatever they plan is, they shouldn't have did this. What's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. Keep y'all, what you, look, I know one thing about it. If you don't know what's going on, stay out of it. It's not your business. But some people, they got in it. But you know what? This person could have manipulated them into trying to come against you. Like, yeah, they did this and they talked about you. And, and you ain't said nothing about them. Or you ain't did nothing. You nothing. But this person, <laughs> they definitely got a team. So they all was like, okay, okie dokie. <laughs> I'm on your side. We're coming against a good one. Don't know that karma is followed behind that. But yeah, so just as it served here. Um, so take it however it resonates for you, Scorpio. Until next time, many blessings. All right, Sagittarius. Spirit, please show us a message for Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius' message at this time? Please show us a message for Sagittarius. 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 Sagittarius spirit. What is Sagittarius message? One more for Sagittarius. Someone is stressed out. Possibly due to money. Someone could be addicted to pills, drugs. Someone have some type of addiction here. Rather you or them. Um, or whoever you're dealing with. Whoever in your energy. Someone could be gaining some truth, some clarity about some some type of manipulation. Or someone was trying to manipulate someone due to giving money. And someone is seeing some truth behind this. Someone could be ill, sick. Someone is stressing. Nine of Swords here. Stress out. Because something is over or something is coming to an end. Someone regain their, their strength, whether you or them, take it however. Some money is being given to someone. Someone was trying to stop that, hold that back from you or you, them, take it however. All right, let's get more on this energy for Sagittarius, Nine of Swords. Someone could be stressing over a job as well. This could just be like starting a new job and it's like, that fear of like, oh my goodness, is it going to turn out right? Am I going to do well? Is it going to be too hard? Or am I going to be able to... Like, it, it's just overthinking. You're going to do just fine because you're coming out with the strength. So you're going to be just fine. This is your new beginning. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You have victory. Someone could be getting a new job or a new promotion of some sort or some type of financial opportunity. Um... Just remain strong. Show us a message on this Nine of Swords. Someone could have Aquarius in their chart or Capricorn. Someone rising or moon. Show us more on the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Not dang. Listen here, Sagittarius. You got. The Ace of Wands here now. You have the Ace of Coins and the Ace of Swords. Like, what? You got three Aces here. All you need is one more Ace. But, jeez, this is good. So, you stressing for nothing. What? You stressing for nothing. Or, unless you're on the other end of the stick and you're stressing because this person is receiving all these blessings. Take it however it resonates. Someone thought someone wasn't going to get out of this wheelchair. Someone thought that they wasn't. So, someone thought that you wasn't going to regain your strength, or this person thought, or you thought. However, someone thought that someone wasn't going to regain their strength. Show us more on the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. 
Someone also could have been trying to send that energy your way to make you addicted to pills or drugs or something that was not right for you, okay? Someone was definitely trying to uh, pretty much take you away from your morals, okay? Your self-worth. Um, it's like someone was trying to fry your brain. Like, didn't want you to succeed and move forward. Whoever this is, take it however it resonates. Show us more on the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Clarify. And you just leveling up. Ooh, they don't like that. Show us on the Ace of Pentacles. Go ahead, Sagittarius. Yeah, you leveling up at work. You could be getting a promotion. Some of you stressed out about this promotion. Or stressing out about a new job, a new work, new work environment. They want you, like I said, stay strong because you're getting what you need. You're going straight into the Queen of Pentacles, clarifying the strength. Stability. Stability is here for you. The sun. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful message. So a lot of you, you're going to be receiving some communication about this sometime this week. Or between now and, and next week. But you're definitely about to receive some type of communication. It's going to bring you happiness. It's going to make you so happy because it's like maybe you've been waiting on this for some time. That could have been the stress, the anxiety of what to do, how, what's next, or why you're going to go about something. But something is about to come in and, it's, and things are about to move ahead for you fast. You've been manifesting this. For some of you, take better care of your health, okay? Try not to, um, definitely don't get addicted to anything, especially narcotics, pills. Say, for instance, you know how people, they take it for, for a health concern, but then they get addicted to it. Like, no, it's supposed to be temporary, not forever. Like, this could be like a pain pill or something. Like, no, you got to, mind over matter. Mind over matter. You could do this. Don't let that, that pill, um... Have control over you. You're supposed to have control over it. So that's a message for someone. It don't have to be pills. It could be like some type. It could be alcohol. You know, it could be some type of something that's not good for your health, your body. Some of you, you can end up having liver damage or kidney uh, uh, damage. Or you could also have to have surgery of some sort. Um, be careful on, on your health. Just take better care of your health at this time. It's like someone could have been trying to dig a grave for you, like wanting you to take your own self out so it can make their job easier. Someone could have paid to do this. Someone could have got some. Mm, mm, mm. Someone could have got some work done to try to take you out. I'm just saying, it's showing. It's here. But for some of you, um, never mind that. That's not everybody's situation. But for those who know, you know. Okay, and just stay in your strength with that strength here. Okay. All right, um, what else, Spirit, before we close out of Sagittarius? Show us a message for Sagittarius. Yeah, someone could be dealing with the Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, or you just have uh, Earth energy strongly in your chart. Someone definitely um, could be receiving good karma due to the good that they put out. But if you on the bad end of the stick, Sagittarius, you know where you're at, Okay. But if you did good, guess what? You got nothing but good coming in. Please overcome whatever this addiction is, okay? Because I'm picking that up for someone. Someone has some type of addiction. And this is this can take away these blessings that's coming in for you. Spirit is like, look, we're going to give you another try. All right? We know you got the strength because this is why we're giving you these blessings. But we want you to show us that you got the strength. We know you got the strength, but we need you to show us that you got it, <laughs> that you got it. So let's see you put down that bottle. Let's see you put down the pills and drugs or alcohol or whatever this is that is that's making you feel like you, I guess you feel more empowered and more strength or you feel like, oh, it's taking my pain away. It's so many other things that can help you take your pain away and not take your brain away. Okay. Just saying. Show us a message for Sagittarius. That's not everybody's message, so don't get offended by it. But it's definitely for someone because it wouldn't be coming out so strongly, too. So it's a message. So 
If it's not yours, don't try to make it fit. Please don't. Show us a message for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. We have commitment and we have caution. So things are getting serious. Now telling you caution, like maybe you, are you afraid of a commitment? That's what I'm getting, that fear. That fear, <laughs> that fear of changes. So the fear of having a commitment due to this job, due to just your happiness. Something that's about to make you really happy. It could be a love, a love situation. Things are getting serious. It could be causing you to be like nervous. No, take this opportunity. It's blessings coming in with this. Show us more for Sagittarius. Oh, love spells. Not someone doing love spells here. That could be the caution too. Mm -mm. Mm. Challenges at the bottom. Narcissist. Oh, snap. Some of you, be careful. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doing love spells on you. Or you doing love spells on this, uh, on this uh, earth sign. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. But someone need to be cautious about what they're doing because that's going to backfire. It always do. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? Perfect timing, spirit. Perfect timing. Yeah, someone better stop. They better leave you alone. Look at that. Archangel Michael. Protection. Prevent it from harm. Yeah. Like, no, nah, you ain't about to do this to this person. You better leave Sagittarius alone. Show us a message for Sagittarius. Happiness. Yeah, you got a whole lot of happiness and a whole lot of love coming in. So that's what it is. Like someone could be trying to sabotage your love or try to sabotage your happiness because they know you're about to have this. And they could be trying to do a love spell to bring you back in. No. No. That's not right. It's not right. And they know it's not right. Because you, because they're trash, you left them in the trash. That's what it is. Discarding, throwing out. Two or more people, discussions, planning. Up, oh, That's that discussion of planning on trying to take you out. I told you. I felt that energy and that's what it is. They were trying to take you out. A divine masculine. Oh my goodness. Someone could be in mental prison here. TikTok time running out. Someone could be a karmic. Someone got unconditional love with someone. Someone could be pregnant. You got unconditional love with pregnancy. But then you have toxic, a third party, and TikTok time run. Lord, <sighs> we got child support, financial support, blah, blah, blah. Someone, yeah, someone. Don't let this person, these. You follow your intuition, okay? Anything goes for uh, such as pressure, pressure cooker, ready, rage, ready to explode. Show me more on this energy on the table. Offer proposal, commitment. What else for Sagittarius? We have gossip, petty, jealousy, envy. Someone is jealous of your happiness, your level up that you're about to have. Someone could have a challenge in pregnancy as well. So, I don't know if you're pregnant. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself. Um, cricket, silence, non-action. Uh, someone could be pretending, living beyond their means. Like, they got it like that, but they really don't. Um, mm -hmm. Someone is threatened, embarrassed by your appearance, just by who you are. Lord, okay. So, uh, just know that you've got to level up. you got some good things, a lot of good things coming in for you. You have a commitment. You have happiness all over the board, okay? You have a passion, new beginning. This could be in love and in finances, okay? And a lot of clarity. Truth and clarity is coming out. Um, and this could be stressing you out and stressing other people out. You're stressed out because it's just so so much newness so so it's a new beginning coming in for you so it could be that stress that anxiety um but they want you to stay strong you got this and just you know just you got this in a bag it's easy for you and whoever the other people is they stressed out because they know you're getting this okay but we're gonna leave that there thank you so much sagittarius um until next time 
All right, Capricorn. Hey, Capricorn. Let's see what is going on for you, Capricorn. Here, please show us a message for Capricorn. 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 Capricorn Spirit, please show us. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. We have the Hermit, the Fool, and the Knight of Wands. We have Virgo energy, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um... Someone could be heartbroken over competition that someone placed them in, whether you are or they are. Someone is deciding to isolate themselves from the situation. Someone took a, took, a, took a leap of faith to just remove themselves. Or this is what you're needing to do. Yeah, you may be needing to do this. Um, someone also may feel like they rushed into something way too quickly. And now they want to take some time to self. All right, let's get more on this energy for Capricorn. Capricorn. Someone could be um, starting a new job or just start a new position or getting new money or something. <laughs> uh, maybe you, you, when you heard the job title, you're like, yeah, I got this or whatever. And you took it and you're like, God. Dang, I gotta do all this. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. <laughs> but you got this. You got this. But um, that's not everyone's message. Take it however it resonate. Someone may need to go to the doctor or just keep, you know, keep a checkup on yourself. Okay, someone could have like uh neurology issues or some type of like um or or carpal tunnel. I'm getting as well or uh. Someone could have, like, I just heard bone dis deficiency as well. Someone could have some issues um, internally. So just make sure you're, you're, you know, getting checkups, you know. Especially, or just, not even just checkups. When you paying attention to your body and certain things just, like, seem off. Or you're like, dang, this never hurt like this. You may need to get that checked out. That's your sign, your warning. You could prevent it from becoming worse. Show us more on the Hermit for uh, Capricorn, the Hermit. They're saying, read with your glasses. I know that's right. I be have to tell myself. I put on them glasses. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, so someone may need to read with their glasses because they're literally telling me that, telling you, telling you, telling me to tell you. So someone may wear glasses or they're telling you to just read with your glasses. Maybe you don't need them all the time, but read with them, okay? Um, uh, yeah, so show us more on this hermit. Whether this is a message for you or someone in your energy. Show us more on the hermit spirit. Why is this hermit here? The hermit is clarified with the two of swords. So you could be blocking communication with the earth sign. I mean, the earth sign. A Virgo. Yeah, you could be blocking off communication. You don't want to talk. Or you just blocking someone off. You block someone, don't want to kick it. You don't want to talk. You're, you could be hurt from this person, whatever they did. But they're hurt because you're keeping them blocked. Or you're not communicating with them. So they're hurt too. But it's like, so what? They did it to, this, to themselves. Show us... Um, the fool, clarify the fool, the fool, clarify the fool spirit. The fool is clarified with the devil in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse. Woo! Capricorn, I love to see that. So you're releasing the devil and all his tricks. That's what you're doing. The devil in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse, game over. Game over with this devil. Yeah, you blocking this person off. Good job, Capricorn. You real you realize who you was dealing with, or someone realized who they was dealing with. Take it however it resonates. But man, this is good. You releasing the devil. Show us more on the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Show us more on the Knight of Wands. The Chariot. K 
cancer energy. Someone was mo someone moved into something way too quickly. It's like, woohoo, let's go ahead and do this. And yeah, dang it, why did I do that? Yeah. Um. All right. Let's get more on this energy. So it just looked like you 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 gained the clarity about something. You blocked this person off. You could have been hurt when you did it, but it's definitely bringing your strength back. Show us a message for Capricorn. Someone could have wrecked someone's car and left. Man, they, someone could have just been reckless. I'm just getting reckless. They could have been lying, cheating, stealing. You name it. Show us a message for uh, Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, they they gonna they gonna try to find their way back with this Mercury retrograde. Yeah, mm-hmm. Some of you, you could be experiencing communication issues. Um some of you could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Show us more on this energy. So it could be communication issues, possibly with the fire sign. Um, yeah. For some of you, it could be Due to the Mercury retrograde energy here, normally that does mess up like electronics, things like that. So if there's any type of like miscommunication between you and a fire sign, that's why. So, or this is you, you blocking and stop communicating with someone. But it's showing that you, yeah, whoever this is, it could be a, a Virgo or a fire sign because... It looks like you ain't playing, but they're saying open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. So don't let this make you cold and distant. Don't make you don't let this um, make you cold and distant towards everyone. Yeah, they're a liar. You realize that someone is a liar. They're telling you to have patience. Just a few more months. Some of you could be pregnant. You could find this out. Someone or you found out that this person got someone else pregnant due to their gambling and some yeah someone could be a big gambler or they was gambling your relationship and end up dipping out cheating dealing with someone else and they got caught someone got caught here and someone else is in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this yeah someone was dating went on a date with someone else got someone else pregnant the whole night someone was reckless reckless this is what this looked like someone was reckless. And someone got cut off. Someone got to do some soul searching here. Show us a message. But they're telling you, open up your heart. Don't let this ruin you from love. Show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn. We have soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract, the snake. So you could have been in a soul contract with the um, snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. Could be the other woman or the other man. Take it however it resonates. Self-indulge. Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. Exactly. Yes. Release this. Okay. You have heart with the key. We got we we already have open up your heart and then you have heart with the key welcome and love meeting the one open your heart getting together per so you could be coming into a connection with someone that's better but some of you it was this karmic they was just meant to come into your life teach you a lesson and that's it teach you a lesson about you know who to give yourself to who to share your energy with your time with you know this person was just a lesson that's it so maybe you overstay you allow this person to overstay and they're welcome so yeah that two of swords you like i'm done done so keep it as that all right but that's all i have for you at this time capricorn until next time all right capricorn i mean not capricorn sorry just finished capricorn aquarius let's tap into it aquarius spirit please show us a message for aquarius aquarius what is aquarius message at this time what is aquarius message at this time 
Please show us a message for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Aquarius spirit, what is it? I want to come out, but it didn't. All right, Aquarius. Something about someone's foundation, their home, or marriage. Show us a message for Aquarius. Aquarius. Mm. We have the sun, the three of wands, and the hermit. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, Aquarius, Aries. Or y'all could have these placements or someone in your energy do. But um, someone could have gain some some uh insight some someone could have with went within with the hermit energy to do some research or you have you have gained some clarity about something okay and it's about some type of deceit someone um someone could have been trying to have you stuck or keep you in this um ongoing cycle with them but you gain some clarity here mm-hmm Someone could gain clarity about some money, like some truth about some money. Someone felt like someone was trying to get away with their money or something or trying to get away with something. Let's get more. What is this spirit? Show us more on this energy. But they're also telling someone to go within, you know, to gain this clarity. Uh... This is what's going to bring you or this plan of, you know, doing your, your own investigation. You're going to gain this clarity um, due to someone trying to get away with some money or there's something going on here. Show us more on this energy for Aquarius. Someone need to read, read more like actual books. us a message for Aquarius. Let's get more on the sun. Someone could be a, I think I said that, Leo. Show us more on the sun. Someone could have been seeing butterflies, orange butterflies, or birds, which are messengers. Um, six of cups, someone from the past. Okay. You could be gaining clarity about a child or children or someone from the past. Hmm. Let's get more on the Three of Wands. Three of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify with the King of Wands. Someone definitely could have fire in their chart. Aries in particular with the Three of Wands. King of Wands or Leo here. Um, let's get more on the Hermit. The Hermit Spirit. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone needs to someone could be investing their time in isolation to gather more information of what to do or how to how to grow something, move something ahead, get something done. Okay. King and Queen of Wands. Someone could be conflicted due to walking away or how or like someone could be thinking about this because they have little to none or not enough or this is what someone could be like overthinking like do i have enough am i gonna be able to do this or blah 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 listen whatever you put your mind to you can do it trust me so just mm, keep your head up <laughs> show us more on this energy with the six of cups six of cups for aquarius Six of Cups for Aquarius. Show us more on the Six of Cups and the Sun for Aquarius. It's like someone could be reminiscing about the past and like, ding, some clarity is coming in due to a past situation. Show us more on the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Someone could be pregnant with a child, a boy in particular. Could be a girl too. Show us more on this energy. With the sun and the six of cups. Hmm. 
Hmm. So, I feel like you're being guided to slow down and, like I said, gather more information, like, or just gather your thoughts. This could be your own thoughts, like, you know, um, so you can figure out a plan. Because the Three of Wands is here with the Hermit. It's like, gather your thoughts, figure out this plan. Of how you're going to invest in this or what you can do to get something moving, moving forward or something. Um, someone could be feeling like, you know, there is unrequited love with the past lover, possibly a Leo. Um, show us more. Or someone got a Leo placement, so. Um, show us more on the King of Wands. King of Wands and the Three of Wands. Whoa. Clarify with the Five of Cups in reverse. So you could be, do as long as you make this plan, like this is giving you that strength back. So this plan, they're saying make a plan so you can be back in your power, stand in your power, and you will overcome any sadness or any guilt or any shame. Maybe you walked away from a situation. This could be causing sadness or guilt. But, or this is what you're thinking about. Like, dang, if I walk away, would this be bad on my part? Oh, my goodness. Like, you, something like that. Like, no, don't let, that's why they're saying to retreat. Gather your thoughts, okay? Yeah, gain a different perspective here. Come out of the, the worst case scenario. Show us more on the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius. Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify with what? The Tower. So this, it could be some unexpected news that come up. Um, This could be a long-term investment. Show us more on the Tower and the Seven of Pentacles. The Tower and the Seven of Pentacles. Scorpio, Aries Energy, Queen of Pentacles. Oh. Someone could be realizing, like, maybe this long-term investment would be worth it with the Tower and the Queen of Pentacles. This this could bring someone stability. Someone could be becoming more stable due to making this decision. So, maybe it was fear that was holding you back. Maybe you thought, like, I can't do this on my own. How am I going to do this or whatever? But as long as you make this plan and go forward with it, it's going. you're going to invest in the right places. And things is going to grow and just grow and grow for the better. Let's get more on the Seven of Swords, though, because this is sticking out to me. Why is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit? Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The world. So something is... is has ended here out of some deceit someone could have ended something for you out of deceit someone may need surgery or will be getting surgery. i've been getting that quite a bit in some of y'all readings today so someone definitely could be getting surgery or it could be especially if it come out in your other signs that you um that you look into and you hear that same message. Show us more on the world. The world on the seven of swords. So I feel like some type of deception or deceit. Um, it's over. Okay. Like someone could have been trying to deceive you out of this new beginning or. Mm-hmm. Someone is missing someone at a distance. Show us more on the Four of Cups. King of Swords. Someone is wanting to communicate. Express their feelings. Someone is wanting to share. Yeah, someone is wanting to share how they feel about a situation. Show us. Show us. Um. Show us more on this. No, we're done with that. 
All right, Spirit, let's get more on this energy. I feel like you're gaining some truth here due to retreating or if not just truth is just you're gaining a different perspective on how to go about something or how what what how you should make a plan what this plan should be about maybe you are deceiving yourself not seeing something clearly but it's a lot of clarity here that's coming through because of like a past the past life or your past life is coming back to you giving you I don't know. Something is going on. Show us a message for, uh, and we got air sign here. Show us a message for Aquarius. Someone could be pregnant. We got pregnancy. Someone is expecting. The sun is here too with the six of cups. Show us a message for, uh, Aquarius. Show us a message for Aquarius. They're saying communicate. So some of you just need to communicate with someone, you know, after you, I feel like after you go within, you, you gather your thoughts and you gain a different perspective about a situation, about your plans. They're saying to compromise and work things out, communicate. What else? Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review, everything. Yeah. And what else? Air sign, your energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Anything else for Aquarius? So yeah, your guardian angel is watching over you, a lost loved one, because they feel like you need you need their support right now. You're trying to, they're trying to guide you. In this direction that's going to bring you actually stability. Maybe you're not looking at it this way. Like, mm, how is that going to... But it's, that's what it's showing in this message. The Tower to the Queen of Pentacles. Someone is going to go into stability. However this is. They say communicate. So maybe this is communicate with this person. Or communicate to your ancestors. Your guardian angels. For some of you, this is both. You need to communicate to someone. Show us a message. You have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Show us more for Aquarius. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Yeah, so some of you, this is a partnership that you're supposed to be going into. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So, yeah, someone could be holding back communication or their true feelings. It's like someone could be coming across like cold, like, oh, or they're good, or I'm good. And, but really, it's, it's some built up emotions in there, and someone need to free themselves from this. Okay? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Wow. I was just saying. <laughs> yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will be. I mean, will bring you romance. Some of you, this is a wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay? You may not even see that. You like marriage. <laughs> For some of you, you are married and things is going to work out. You just, communication needs to get back on board. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Some of you, you have children together or you're going to have children together. Um, this could be a new love or a reconciliation with the past love or the I feel like this new love is, is you rekindling a love connection with the past life lover. Okay? That's how I just got it. So you, if you're in a connection, this person is your past life lover. For some of you, you're going into new love and this person is your past life lover. Uh, reconciliation. Give this relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may be different from your usual type or expectations. So also keep that in mind and passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right, so you need to forgive and learn from your past, possibly your parents. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So for some, you could be stuck on a past relationship, past situation that you encountered, and it may have brought you into, I'm never doing that again, or something like that. But 
they're telling you no it's this it's time for this change that's why the world here you need to end the cycle of deception you deceiving yourself out of something that you really want but you could be psyching yourself by saying no i really don't want that i don't want that but you do your heart know the truth okay but yeah you guys you got it looked like a connection like forgiveness and communication is on board here <laughs> that's what's needed rather it needs to be on board let's get um a couple with this spirit or a few um for aquarius aquarius please show us a message for aquarius aquarius you have engagement ring <laughs> engagement partnership commitment eternity completion union wow you're coming into a commitment with someone they want you to release the fear release the past let the past go because this new love is not that past love so you can't it's like someone could beat up the new love due to what they went through and with the past lover you know hold on to grudges due to past love what someone did in the past but you got to let that go. Everyone is not the same. And again, it said your new uh, new love, uh, what did it say? Um, may not be, di I mean, as you reveal your inner self. No, not that one. It was your soulmate may be different from your usual type and expectations. So I'm getting like your soulmate. You're so used to being hurt. You're so used to being lied to. You're so used to, um, yeah, being deceived or in some type of way, shape, or form. But they're saying no. Like, gain your clarity about your past. You see the past for what it is. Release that past and move on into this new connection. Because, or else you're just deceiving yourself out of this. Okay. If you're already in this connection, you need to still release the past <laughs> because it's still messing with your mental and causing friction and issues with this connection. For some of you, it's your partner, okay? They need to release the past. But I'm talking to you, Aquarius, okay? You're here. Shall I say that again? You're here. You're all up in this reading. Show us more. Or unless you're dealing with another um, Aquarius. And some, you could be. <laughs> All right, we have sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So, yeah, they're telling you you need to work on it. All right, so the relationship is over. Leave that past in the past. No second chances for that situation. Grow and transform your life. Yes, you were stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. You was like, what the heck? Yeah, or this person was. Take it however. Chaser in a codependent relationship, relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Yeah, someone string along, seduction. Someone could have been ooh, third party interference, blah, blah, blah. Whoever this is, they really hurt you. And I get it, but you can't be stuck on that hurt, that pain, because it's going to it's gonna take away what's... You got good coming in here. And a good. it looked like a really good grounded relationship. Someone that you can actually build with. Seven of Pentacles. That's that building energy. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles. Someone that you can be well grounded with. Stable with. You know. That is what you want. And that is what it is. And that could be like out the blue. But the tower here could just came out the blue. And you're like what the heck. I don't know what to do. That's why they're like uh, uh, retreat. Go, go within. Figure it out. You know. Figure it out. You know, you just listen because we're here. Your spirit guides, meaning we're here. We're guiding you, okay? We're guiding you. We're telling you what to do. We're telling you that, hey, this is the right the right way. But you, you can't let fear get in the way of that, okay? All right. But that is it for uh, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time. All right. Hey, Pisces. Thank you for tuning in. Let's see what's going on for you at this time. Pisces. There it is. Let's see. Pisces. 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 Thank you. Pisces. What is Pisces?
Pisces. Nine of Wands in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Pisces. Okay. Why so many want to come out? All right. Two of Wands. Three of Cups. Six of Cups and a Hierophant. All right. Hmm. Someone may feel defeated out of a plan, like a, out of a choice. That, like maybe one of your choices was, I don't know, whatever one of the choices was, it was better than the other. And it's like, ooh, that's, that'll work for me. That'll be great. But you feel defeated out of it. Maybe it was taken from you. Or um, I feel like a higher position or a higher yeah, like something else is coming in for you that's higher, that's greater for you. So you look and you could be looking at it as, uh, dang, I just missed out on a great a great opportunity. Um, you didn't miss out on anything. It just wasn't for you. You know, that's how that is. So you're gonna be celebrating. Uh you're gonna be celebrating, enjoying the moment of what's coming in for you. Some of you could be like in a in some type of role, a leadership role of some sort. Uh, someone could be teachers or um, some type of influencer or someone could be uh, getting a lead role doing something, okay? Um, or you're just, you're you're accomplishing a, some type of, like, I don't know, like maybe this was something that you put on your vision board years ago and it didn't ever manifest until now. And you're like, whoa, wait. That's why that plan ain't work. Because I this one that I asked for five years ago. <laughs> Six years ago. Yeah. So, but some of you, you could definitely be um, getting some type of head charge. Oh, head charge. Some type of leadership role of some sort. You could be head of something. A company, a business. Or this is your own business or something. But you're, maybe your business is getting... Again, um, good recognition or some type of um, celebration is coming up for for this. Maybe, you know, this is three years, six years in or more, nine years uh, for some of you. But it definitely looked like uh, some changes is coming in. Something also is, it could have been a long time. Maybe you've been waiting nine, nine days, nine. No, I'm getting like months or years. So either like nine months, maybe nine months. Okay. That's for a baby to be conceived. Okay. So maybe you've been waiting this long nine months. Okay. Well, guess what? Congratulations. The baby is here. Okay. There's some type of contract document. So this could be contract documents of a child. Um, yeah, a child could be coming into the world or there's some type of um something from the past. Maybe you're adding on to your children or you're getting a new student or something. It's a celebration. Maybe you're getting a, a, a new something. You're gaining a new role in your life. And it's just like, wow, okay. Or you're adding on to your role, to who you are, what you do. But you're adding on to it and that's also good, you know. So it just looked good for you. Uh, let's see more. Show us more on the Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Show us more on the Nine of Wands for Pisces. Nine of Wands clarify with the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. So yeah, it's like some, some type of, um, something could be, like say for instance, it's been a long, drawn out nine months, nine years, however this is. Some of you, it could have been nine days. You feel like nine days was the longest nine days ever. But after that ninth month or ninth day, something speed up. It speed up and you're like, whoa, okay, 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 yeah. Things that you planned is coming into, you know, coming into light for you. Show us more on the Ten of Pentacles. In reverse, though. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. Okay. So some of you, you feel like your own family deceived you um, due to a love situation. Or you just love these people and it's just like, dang, I can't trust you. You deceived me. You lied to me. This could be someone you have a family with. Or this is your own bloodline. 
Show us more on the two of wands. It's like you don't trust them. You don't trust someone. Two of wands clarify with the magician. Um, Virgo, Gemini energy. So you're planning to manifest new beginnings elsewhere. Like, all right, deuces on y'all. I'm about to move forward. Or deuces on you. Like, whoever this is. But this is people. This is like, rather family of your bloodline that you have to release yourself from. Or this is... Um, this is a family that you once had with someone, okay? Show us more on the Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Someone you don't trust someone. It could be a Virgo or a Libra. Um, hold on. All right. Some of you, it could be an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know, you guys. You just... You feel like you feel like you can't trust someone. Show us more on the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands in reverse? King of Wands in reverse. Clarify with the Ace of Swords because you gained some truth and clarity about something. So it could have been some lies that was said. And you like, what? Yeah. To slow some money down for you or slow you down from receiving something. Yeah. Show us more on the higher fence. But what's, what's right is right. And you're going to get your right. All right. Just have faith. Okay. With the star here. Have faith. Everything look, look good to me for you, Pisces. Now, if you on the bad end of Pisces, then just know what you're going to get. You know? Everyone is not going to get good. It's good and bad for every sign. Show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. Someone could be angry because you found out their tricks. You found out their, their lies, their deceit. About slowing you down or slowing... Yeah, show us a message for uh, Pisces. Pisces. Someone could... Um, could have been dealing with this could have been a past lover or something um show us a message for pisces gold digger oh someone is a gold digger they want your money they were being used yeah so someone could have been a gold digger just trying to take 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 this could be your own family your bloodline distance you and your partner may be physically or just uh physically or emotionally distant yeah you and someone could be at a distance from each other uh, you may have to release certain people from your energy for sure. Even if it is blood, you know. Um, whoever is always wanting money. I need this. I need that. I always got their hand out. Yeah, someone could be uh, a financial abuser, okay. They'll be back. They said they'll be back. So they're going to return back with their hand out. Just know that. All right, let's see. Pisces, I'm going to just sum your reading up. It's, it seems like it's not much I need to say here. Yeah, you could be kind of like tired of this. Like, man, you, so you just don't, you don't trust this person or these people. Show us. It's like you, you only want me because you need me. You need something from me. Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Yeah, X, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. So, yeah, some of you, this could have been a lover. And you're like, man, I, I see what you're doing. You just want my money. The chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. So, that person, like I said, they'll be back wanting more from you. Um, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. You got this. You got this because you're about to level up in other ways. So take a break from this love this situation for those who are going through this separation from this gold digger. Okay? Whoever you are that's going through a, a separation with this gold digger, just know that you're about to level up. You just need to have faith. Okay? You need to have faith, but you got some good things coming in for you. They just need to, you to release this particular person. Okay? This gold digger. This leech. Okay? Whoever this is, that's always trying to gain off of you. They like, no, we can't bless you with these blessings because this person is trying to take your blessings. So no, we don't want that person taking your blessings. So we're going to put that on hold until you release. So yeah, you need to release certain people for sure. Okay. 
Because, yeah, the Ten of Swords, they're going to betray you. Someone could be trying to take you out. Someone could have did some betrayal to end someone, to gain some finances off someone. Wow. This could be a father figure of some sort, about a father figure, or you could be finding this out, the betrayal of your own family. All right, Pisces, that's all I have for you at this time. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Until next time.